we're back guys with echoes of the living now uh i kind of feel stupid <laughs> there's a panel here a few wires are missing it won't work well what do you know we've got some wires here now i do have the knife on me because we've only got two bullets left which is oh it's gonna say which is really brown trouser time um, ah, oh, they're both heavy gunpowder. Do we? I'll tell you what. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, combine. So, apparently, this game was made. Oh. Oh, yes. This, um, game was made by two people. Uh, uh, I think like a husband and wife that um, quit their day jobs to go into full time game development or something and well I mean if that's true hey cool to be fair you know unlike a lot of indie developers I will say one thing you're off to a pretty bloody good start I'll be fair um, I do think there's definitely some issues I have with this game. Um, none of them are insolvable. Insolvable. Uh, I would say item management is the biggest problem. You're definitely getting that wrong. Uh, that would be my biggest criticism. If you can sort out the item management and you can sort out, uh, just tidy up some of the animation work, make it a little bit more natural. I think you've got something here. I reckon so. And if the price is right, I think it's got potential. I'm certainly going to be playing it. Right, so handgun bullets. We'll put the shotgun shells back. We will put the... Have we got gunpowder? We don't. We'll put the gunpowder back. We're going to hold on to the lighter. Um, I don't know about keycard, eh? Uh, or small key. But surely we're going to need these other things. We just need to clear some inventory space at the moment. Now, I, I was thinking as well about maybe cutting out some of this to and fro. But, it, you know, that's the game. You know... To get like a full look and feel of the game, this is what you're, you're going to be doing. Um, you know, I suppose if you cut out all the backtracking of the game, um, you know, there's 80% of the game play gone. So, let's go back and get those cutters. Because oh, there's two places we know that we can use those. I am kind of annoyed at myself about the wire puzzle. It's kind of really... Well, I don't know if I'd say of... Yeah, no, I would. It, that was really obvious. I would feel really thick for not grabbing that. But we got there in the end. The Chain Cutter. You can tell these guys are Resident Evil fans. And, you know. Because <laughs> what modern Resident Evil game doesn't have the Chain Cutters? Or the Bolt Cutters, I believe they call them in Resident Evil. Uh, I'm hoping for a similar animation as well. Now, before we go, let's go scoop up that gunpowder before I completely forget about it, which uh, is in here. Cool. Heavy gunpowder. And heavy gunpowder. And we're going to combine those to make yet more shotgun shells. We now have a disgusting amount of shotgun shells. Which is fantastic. Do you know what we don't have, though? We don't have a shotgun. That's the linchpin of the whole thing at the moment. Right, let's go jiggle our junk around. Now, we should be able to get into that like item box now. Or that weapon-looking box. Which is cool. But that weapon box... Right, so if we drop the shells, uh, we're going to keep the key. I guess we're going to have to keep the hang and ammo as well. You know what? Two open slots. That's that. That's a lot of slots, right? Question mark. <laughs> I mean, you would have thought so. Okay. 
Yeah, so if they give you, I don't know, let's say they give you eight slots instead of um, the six that we have, that would probably be sufficient. Um, there we go, we've used the chain cutter. Ah, look, there's the battery. Stalfords. And what is this? Is this a shotgun? Requires two key cards to open. Okay. Well, what we can do with that then? Let's just use the the key card A that we have. Just because it gets it used up. It's gone then. It's finished. It's done with. Um, now, also before we use the bat. Battery, we are going to, I reckon. Um, I mean, I guess we could put the battery in on the way, I suppose. Uh, we're going to use the chain cutter before we do anything else. Um, the empty lighter, I see it. The fuck factor is the second you put one of these things back, you know you're going to need to use it. That's the problem with this sort of inventory system. So you know you're going to have to come back here. And, you know, if you have to do it a couple of times, that's not the not really much of a problem. But when you're spending more time in the game, running back to collect items, that, that is where you, you start going wrong. Because it's the exploration parts of the games that are fun. Nobody likes inventory management. I mean, I'm sure there's a few sadists out there that probably do. But, you know, Resident Evil um, 4 kind of perfected inventory management and set a bar that has never been surpassed. Uh, you know, even Resident Evil 5 completely dropped the ball with inventory management. You know, like straight away. Uh, Resident Evil 5 probably had the worst inventory system uh, in the whole series. And then, you know, they just said fuck it and dropped the whole thing in Resident Evil 6. Who needs inventories and items, right? You want cooler dudes. Uh, with zombies, apparently. Mixed with Street Fighter. And 36,000 uh, different plot points and characters. Stop talking about 6. So, what have we got going on? Ooh, what's that? More tabs. We like tablets. It looks like somebody grabbed clothes in a hurry. Yeah, probably. Got some stilettos. Type shoes. Ooh. Right, our health is actually fine. Um, that looks like something flickering on the table. Nothing of interest. Alright, maybe not. A wardrobe. It's it's locked. Right, so Nope, I guess I guess we're not using the small key on that one. Uh, we sure that where was the bathroom? That exits the apartment. Ah, right. I thought that was a door then. Just, oh, it is a door. <laughs> oh, we've got some shamblers. I do like the zombies. They're not bad. They're really not bad. Okay. Oh, more shotgun shells. We get more shotgun shells than bloody anything else. Ah, and a save disc. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. And of course our inventory is full. Why wouldn't it be full? A simple lock, so we need the lockpick for that. Okay, looks like we need to go on another save run. Item box run, I should say. Nothing useful. 
Um, nothing over there. Okay. We're going to get to the point fairly soon where we're probably going to be giving up on the handgun and just using the shotgun because we have such a, a disproportionate amount of ammo for the shotgun now. It's kind of silly. All right. So, let's go back. Oh, is that something? No. I guess what we can do is use the battery up. This is where it says something like, the battery's not charged. Oh, we're going down. Oh. <gasps> There's the shotgun. <clears throat> and that gribbly looks like he's still alive. In which case... What's in that case? And the lighter fluid. Okay, we're getting somewhere now, chaps. Yeah, she's definitely dead. <laughs> Lots of toilet paper. Who would store this absurd amount? Oh, you love to see it. Yep, yeah, that's a nice little nod to those idiots stockpiling toilet paper. COVID. Uh, how do we? Oh, okay. I was going to say, how do we actually go up? Right. Let's get the sh Oh, that's a nice looking shotgun. I hope it feels nice. Right, now the trouble is... Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. Oh, actually, we can go get that safe disk now. And... No, we do need to do an item run, really. Because we've got those herbs to pick up as well. Yeah. All right. Shotgun. Not bad. And you can reload whilst you're moving as well, which is really sweet. So, let's open this up. And, right, let's put that back for now. I guess we'll put that back. Let's take some shells. No. Nope. Oh, we can literally fit all the shotgun shells. Really cool. Happy. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Well, we'll leave the saplings there for now. Uh, I wish B just backed you out of this area, uh, out of this menu. Um, come on, get back over to fucking storage. Uh, right. Serum, lockpick. Oh, we do need the lockpick, don't we? Because we found a simple lock. We'll take that. We'll take the shotgun shells. Alright. And let's get the shotgun back, please. So I guess maybe we get another weapon in the demo. Interesting. Right. So, save disk. Simple lock. Got ya. I'm guessing we're going to have enemies everywhere now. Which is fine. I do feel like I've probably played through um, a good portion of this game. Uh, we're in the wrong area. Yep. Wrong area. My bad. Which I'm not mad about. The more game to play, the better. Obviously. Okay. Now let's go for a walk upstairs. What was actually further on in this? Ah, boxes. Right. Good old boxes. 
our character's mortal enemy. Uh, I mean, this game runs fantastic as well, but yeah, I suppose we're using a 4080, so. And a Ryzen CPU, third gen, so it shouldn't really have many problems. Uh, all right, inventory is full. Yeah. Simple lock. Let's use the lock pick. So. Right. There we go. Alright, they're not too bad once you kind of understand what you're doing. There's a hole in the ground. Do we want to drop, jump down? No, not without saving the game first. Let's go say. Oh god, look how much. Is that a herb we can pick up? Oh, there's so many items. Come on, guys. Uh, I am tempted to jump down that hole just to see what's there, but. Um, I don't really want to have to play loads and loads of gameplay again. So, right. Let's go back downstairs. Let's go jiggle our junk around again and come back. Even though we've got the lighter, which means we should probably be concentrating uh, on going underground with all the gribbly things. I'm guessing now we've got the shotgun and we've got to go into the spider nest. There's probably gribbly spiders there, which is why I want to gather up as much of the health items as possible, which I'm sure you can understand. <sighs> right. Okay. Don't think we need the lockpick. Don't need that. Uh, the small key? I have no idea about the small key. Let's save the game. we know. Let's use the floppy disk. Because at least that much of the game is saved. I still think they're fairly stingy on the save disks. Even if a floppy disk gave you two saves. I think... <sighs> yeah, I mean, you could say three, like in the original easy mode, Resident Evil. Um... But, yeah, definitely need a few more saves, I think. But, you know, once you've saved the game, that does take the pressure off. So there's always that. Alright, now let's go see what's down that hole. Probably... Gribbly Shambling Undead. Okay... Ah... This, to me, um, just looks like an outside-facing window. I don't know why. That's not a, the, a problem with the game. That's a problem with me being retarded. That looks like I should be able to pick it up, but I can't. All right, let's take these. Oh! They're not actually flowers that you can pick up. Okay, then. Oof. Ooh. That looks like a person molded in. Oh shit, that is. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I should say so. What the hell is this thing? Well, I'm guessing at some point it was a person. The electric panels are covered in a sickly mass guess we'll take the chemicals that is actually kind of a cool enemy I like it so what does this chemical do nothing apparently Mass grows everywhere, like some kind of ivy. Yeah. Kind of feels like the necromorph stuff. Oh. 
Oh, hello. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, that's a bit cheeky. All right. Two shotgun blasts. Wasn't as scary as I th thought. Doesn't look like it's going to get back up. Oh. Okay. So we've got ourselves some chemical. I think we're just about done from that side now. Let's go back. Yeah, that massive bloater looking thing. That was interesting. Now, yeah, that other door was locked from the outside, wasn't it? Right, so what are we equipped with? We need the lighter. I guess it wouldn't hurt to make some kind of uh, health item as well. You know, for prosperity and all that. Um, right. So the chemical... Oh, a container of highly flammable chemicals. Right, we're probably going to need that then. Oh, we've got a health item there. All right, well, we probably don't need all these health items. So, let's just take the lighter. No, I said let's take the lighter. What did I drop? The lockpick. Oh no, drop the chemicals. Let's combine. Can we not? I guess maybe we can't combine. I thought we could. Unless, hang on. Right, leave that. Take the garnet. And we'll take that. Right, so I guess we can combine that and that. Right, and then... Okay, fine. And actually, that um, image of the mixed herbs there looks pretty cool. Fully restores health. Nice. So, let's grab the... Chemicals, the lighter, and we are going to leave that. Cool. Let's go on an adventure underground. Well, we're probably going to find some more of those gribbly men. And that's okay. Actually, no, it's probably going to be spiders. Let's go. All right. Now, you can tell that I'm really kind of enjoying this game. I'm still playing it. <laughs> I don't want to put it down. That's... That's... That's a good sign. You right there, fella? Now, let's, I guess, use that. Right. Makes sense. Um, there we go. Probably not the best place to stand, to be honest with you. But, alright. We'll take it. Ooh. Spider. Ooh. The spider's tough. And they look good. All right, I like that. Hmm. All right, just one spider. Okay, need something to remove the debris. Well, we can certainly look into that. Oh. All right. 
Oh god, hello. Oh my god, they've got the double kill. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Hey, look, the more the merrier. Oh, love. Let's do this thing. You and me. There you go. Nothing useful inside. That's disappointing. The trunk is empty. Boo. Oh. Yes. Yes. Seven shotgun shells. Seven. Oh, man. Look at this place. Oh, hi. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just kind of enjoying myself exploring this place. Alright, a little bit further away than he should have been. Definitely gonna get have to get used to how close you need to be. Oh, you've unlocked it. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, we're really kind of getting a little bit confused here now. There's herbs. Come on, love. Got the cures. What ails ya? There you go. So we can't go any further this way. We can come down here, though. The cars are on fire. They certainly are. Oh, hi. That was a bit unfortunate. Get off me. Get off me, you dirty motherfucker. Boop. Right, so... Oh, we're a little bit injured. Probably should take that herbage. I like the way our face, facial expression has changed. Because now we're injured. Hey guys, are you going to break through? Oh man, it's like there's an overwhelming amount of um, exploration now. <laughs> Get out of here, fatso. <laughs> Wasted his ass. Sure, we'll take the handgun bullets. Sure, we'll take the handgun bullets. I guess. Yeah, we are tearing through these shells at a rapid click, but that's okay. The door to the bar is blocked. These scenes look really freaking cool. I suppose it was a nice place to have a drink. Yeah, yeah, it probably was. Probably still have a drink there, to be fair. I'm sure they've got stock. Okay. So I guess we're going to just be going back. Um, we could... There's a blue and a green there. I mean, I guess... We could take these. Because we're going to use that pretty much now. Uh, no, we'll hold on to it, actually. Alright, let's go back. So, have we actually technically moved on now? Firmly sealed. Surprising. I thought we'd be going in there. Alright, well. Ooh. What we could use would be an actual new save room. Alright, this is going to be really hard to judge where they are. Alright. That could have gone better. Very difficult to see where they actually are. Let's swap back over to this. The fire is blocky. Yeah, <laughs> look, Resident Evil 3 strikes again. I had a fire hose. Oh, there's another item box. Very nice. Okay, so, um, I mean, let's 
drop you, drop you. Uh, let's use that. How much health is that going to give us back? Gives us plenty, in all fairness. Right. Oh, and there's another save room there. Uh, there's a valve handle, which I guess we'll take. And a first aid kit. Bloody hell. A kit with enough tools to treat any wound. Restores the health completely. Cool. Right, well, I mean... We don't really need that. So we'll drop that back. Uh, you know... I don't think we really need that health. Probably going to bite me in the arsehole. But it is what it is. Okay. Won't move. And where does... Ooh, hello. I'll take you out. Definitely do like these barrels. They're pretty sweet. My gosh. Yeah. I'd use a bit stronger language than that, but that's just me, I guess. Come on, love. Or dude, whoever you are. I guess you're dead, so it doesn't really matter. There you go. Uh, I think there's more. Can we? Go through here. I guess we probably can. Won't budge. Alright, maybe not. We've still got this little key. Look at this. This looks fucking awesome, man. Oh, man. There's an item down there glinting. Can't get up there. Can't do anything with that. All right. Oh, some more herbs. Now, what are you? Park key. Cool. Take a park key. Don't have the key. Are you sure? I guess. Oh. Oh. That was. That was kind of cool, actually. All right. So, what's through here? Knob is broken. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. It's kind of a serious thing. Lock from the other side. Alright. Oh, dogs! Oh, this... Alright, dogs. And you know what? They weren't shit. Which is nice to see. Dogs. And they weren't shit. I mean, again, it could use a bit more animation work, but, you know, even if the game dropped like this, it's perfectly fine. Right, can we? That's our little save room. Still don't actually have a save key. Uh, so the park. The dogs hurt though. That's worth remembering. Let's drop. See, we've. Uh, you can't really have two types of ammunition on you. But I suppose we're going to for now. Let's drop the valve. Um, I guess we're going to drop these things until we know we need them. Let's take um, one of them and one of them. And let's go back and get the blue one. And then we'll have a full set to use. As long as we don't get beseeched by another dog, which is probably unlikely. Can we, like, go down these? No. 
Right. Oh, did I just see a ladder? There we go. We've got like a super heal. Can we go up this ladder? Apparently not. Alright, you would have thought maybe you could, but what? Right, let's go try and find the part. So I would imagine that's probably going to be full of dogs. Probably. Uh, definitely need to get that sorted. So where's the park? That's where we came up. We can't do anything with that. Pizza shop. Oh, it's locked with a simple lock. Son of a fucking bitch. Seriously? Bastard. Dickhead. Alright, fine. At least we don't have that far to go to, I suppose. I can drink some coffee. Which has been being neglected. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, coffee. Um, now. Lock pick. Again, I'm getting the feeling that we've just got... Too many items on us, but it is what it is. All right, whatever. Whatever. We'll make it work. So, let's have a look in the pizza place. Come on. Alright, so none of those are staying up. Right, those two are staying up now. Right, so I think we need to do that. That. Okay. You, you, you. 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 And you. I don't mind that lock picking. Actually. I don't. Ah, oh, it's a save disc. Uh, well, this is a nice little store. I guess. It's bread! <laughs> Silent Hill. Wait, what? No way. That's a pretty cool Silent Hill reference. <laughs> Silent Hill 3. Cookies and pastries are displayed here. Yeah, we can't take any of that, unfortunately. An old phone doesn't seem to work. Well, I've got to say, those pastries look fantastic, but we don't really have time to sit and have a nibble. Right. Back to the item box room. Do we want to save the game? I mean, I guess it makes sense. Um, sure, I suppose. I guess we're off to the park and uh, anything can be at the park. We're actually in the park alley. So we just need to find something that we can use as a fire hose, I guess. Fire hydrant. Mm. Alright, well. So. We know that there's some health here. There we go. That'll do, Donker. That'll do. So, the park. Where, pray tell, is the park? I'm not seeing a park here, I'm gonna be honest. Unless it's blocked. There we go. Oh, fuck. Oof. 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 
That was close. I can hear more griblies. Or maybe not. It won't move. Okay. Note for David. Today we received the new special equipment that Martha ordered. Sadly, we haven't her we haven't hear of her since she caught that ugly cough. Hopefully she will recover soon, but in the meantime, make sure to put it in the office safe until she comes back. The safe combination 8125. See you in the next shift, champ. Alright. Ah We needed that. And we want the bullets. unlocked it oh and all things come full circle cool all right I like that so let's have a little look we need a fire hydrant now we all right let's leave that we're gonna use that crank in a second um, hmm. Do we have any more? We've got some normal gunpowder. But we don't have any heavy gunpowder. Alright, it's fine. Okay. So, let's go back outside and use our key. If we can. Um, we're not going to go through there. I've got to try and remember where that was now. It wasn't Was it through here? Yeah here somewhere wasn't it possibly not nah here it is excellent I'm guessing that's for that now hopefully nemesis doesn't turn up ooh oh right fire hose survivor memo the past 48 hours have felt like a hundred years the sunny days are far beyond my memory. I can't stand this anxiety any longer. These walls are getting closer and closer every time I rise, raise my eyes. I can hear them outside. That lifeless moan that echoes in the alleys is nailing my head, fueling my nightmares. The putrid smell crawls inside. I can't breathe. It's so strong that I can taste it. That's it. I'm leaving this shithole. The access to the main street is blocked and most of the streets are full of those things. The only viable option is to escape, is using the alleys. Tomorrow morning I'll pack my stuff and run as fast as my legs will allow me. Before I leave, I leave the power to let everybody know. Yes, everyone will know. Time heals nothing. We are the real monsters. There is no hope. Alright. Cool. I guess. So, we have some more heavy gunpowder. We have normal gunpowder. And we have the hose. Cool. Right, well, we have everything we need here. I guess I used the crank. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a herb. Son of a bitch. Right, well. Not sure if we really, really need that herb, but let's go make some ammo. Jiggle our junk around and see how we do. So, let's drop that and grab the heavy gunpowder. And then we can combine 27 shotgun shells. We like 
we like these things. Um, Gunpowder. Chain cutter. <laughs> Mint sapling. Gunpowder. Is it just that one gunpowder that we've got? I think so. We must have another gunpowder. Am I being thick? Yes. Yes, I am. Of course I'm being thick. Hey, it's what I do. So we've got 50 handgun bullets, 20... Oh, well, 50 plus 15. So, yeah, 64 handgun bullets. And we've got 33 shotgun shells. Nice. You know what? I think I am going to go back and grab that herb just... Because we can. Because we can, god damn it. We can and so we shall. Because that is uh that, that that's why we're an American, right? Not an American. <laughs> uh well that's assuming on my end. I don't actually know if we are American. Kind of feels like an American esque city, sort of, I think. Actually no, not really feels, I don't know, feels too closed in to be an American city. But then I don't live in America, so I don't know. Okay, so let's, let's go back this way. Right. Can't hear any more zombies. Zombie. Deadites, brain munching monsters. Actually, did we grab the. Hang on. Do you have one space left? I mean. Firmly sealed. I mean, we haven't had. No, we did grab these. Okay. <laughs> I still love this Silent Hill reference. I can't get over that. <laughs> it's the animation as well. It's bread. Wait, what? Oh, if only Heather Mason was here. Good God. <laughs> I love these little Easter eggs. They're superb, man. Absolutely superb. Right, um, okay. Now... Let's use this bad boy. Now, do we need to use the valve as well? I guess we don't. We don't have dogs to deal with. Look, there's more health here. Guess we could pick the red one up. Like so. Oh, hello, sir. Step right up. Uh, that was bad. That was that was just testing, just testing the gun. Come on, love. Got the cure to what ails ya. There you go. This place looks awesome. What's that? Heavy gunpowder, I guess. But now, we're out of inventory slots again. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. It's locked. Does it say what sort of key? Ah, okay. Part key. Oh, God, look at it. There's so much to do, so much to see, so much to explore. All right. Ooh. Hello. Oh, keycard B. I guess not available on the demo. All right, so I guess we're probably getting towards the end of the demo then. Entrance to the park is locked. Okay. Should we go back and see what... 
Let's go back. And see what's in that super secret. Actually, we can grab that herb. In that locked case. Because I, for one, really want to see. Actually, let's jiggle our junk around. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop that. Do we have any more heavy? Nope, let's drop that. Cool. Alright. Now, where was... Where was... The way back? Nope, wasn't up there. That was where our fat friend was. That decided to have a little nibble on our neck. He's dead now. Here we go. Now this better be worth it. Because this has involved, you know, a little bit of backtracking. So if it's just like a medical kit. I ain't going to be super pleased. Ooh. A desert eagle. Oh, cannot carry more weapons. Are you serious? Ugh. God damn it. Fine. Right, let's go run back. Put back the useless knife. I assume it's a useless knife. Go grab the desert eagle. Sure, why not, right? It's got to be good. Right? And it would be a shame not to see it. Bloody backtracking. Come on. You can't open the item box from the side either. That's worth knowing. Oh, don't store that. Um, right, okay. What did I drop? Let's take the small key back with us. Um, take the bullets. That should be sufficient. Let's go get our desert eagle. Okay, come on. I'm guess I am. Well, I say I'm guessing. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of end boss. Uh, I assume. Now thinking about it as well, we should be able to go back this way. Probably going to be quicker. I say probably. Oh. Eight rounds. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, all right. Oh, it's had babies. Oh, it's had babies. That's pretty, pretty rad. Right, so let's go back. Back to the future or something. Now, we can try the little key down here, but I'm going to assume it's probably. Nope. It's not for that. Alright, well, that leaves us with one door then. Okay. That's the way we came. Yeah, look at this. It's, it literally looks like it's been ripped from Resident Evil 3 and then just, you know, HDified. And that's cool. Ooh, hello. Come on, zomber. Let's be having ya. Really? Okay. Thought he'd had enough. 
I was going to say. There we go. Nothing glistening yet. Oh, she's definitely not glistening. But that's fine. A bit more fertilizer for the local area. Careful now. Come on. Oh, she's she had a bit of energy to her. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we got a big fella. Come on, pal. Let's get this done. The forest will feed on your bones for a while. Any more? I guess not. Is this the only way to go, then? It is. A fallen tree is blocking the way. Oh, I don't think there's a huge amount we can do about that. Oh, no. It's chained. Of course it's chained. Son of a... Oh. Oh. Oh, oof. Oof, he almost. He almost had a bite of that sweet, succulent flesh. Right, so where does this lead? Not from the other side. It's filled with murky water. I need to remove it first. And I'm guessing a hole. Yeah, all right. So we do need to go back because we need to get the chain cutters. And we need to get the valve handle. Gotcha. Wait, yes. I was going to say, we need the small pick as well, but we don't. <sighs> God damn it. Well, at least the backtracking isn't... Well, it is bad enough, actually. I was going to say, at least it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. It is annoying. Right. Okay, so let's have a little jiggle. We will... Still don't know what we need that for. The key. But that's fine. Let's take the chain cutter. And the valve. But the thing is, that fills our inventory up then. And I really don't want to be walking around without any kind of health. Because I don't really want to die and then have to restart massive chunks of this game again. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can understand that. I'm hoping in the actual full release of this game we're going to find out a lot more. I also would like to see some difference between the characters. Um, I don't know whether our boy here is a little bit tougher. Maybe. Oh! And maybe the girl. Don't know her name. Can't remember. Get off me, you bastard. Yes. Have your pound of flesh. You monster. At least that's going to heal our inventory there. Or heal our inventory. Yeah, close enough. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep using the handgun. Kind of happy to just use these bullets up to be honest wow this guy's tough wow did you see that I think we're at the point now where the handgun's just kind of obsolete jeez louise man how many bullets we've got 15 oh got another one I guess we're just going to use up all this handgun ammo Eight gives nine with a reload. Oh, hi. Don't re oh, she's armored. Oh, God. Oh, hell. We got deadites coming out of the ground. Well, that's all she wrote for that. Come on, love. And you. Come on, Bonesy. Oh, he's actually literally a skeleton. 
cool. Oh, we've got another one. <laughs> That's kind of cool, you know. Actually look like proper undead zombies. Edward Goldman. Goldman. Isabel Silverfield. I'm guessing there's a puzzle here. Jeremy Copperhead. Door is sealed. Come on, policeman. Suck it up. I mean, at this point, they might as well just give you the whole game, right? An old crip. Thank God the door is sealed. Yeah, I guess. A remote controller. And gunpowder. I guess we'll be taking these things. Not available in the demo. Alright. So I guess this puzzle that we have might not be available to us right now. That's fine. Now, we are completely out of item uh, space again. Because of course we are. Right, hopefully we can make some space with that. Hey. Oh, let's go down and see what we can find. Wonder if we're going to find Hunk's crew down here. Not looking good. Ooh. Massive water tank. Right, well, I want to be careful with that because I don't. Ah, okay. No, I don't think we need that. Just had to get it out of the way. Oh, an explosive. Ah, oh, right. We had to blow a passage up, didn't we? Somewhere. Um, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Right, where was that passage that we got to destroy? Shit. I... Actually can't remember at all where that was. Um... Was it underground? Bugger. Alright, well, let's keep exploring for now. Um, oh god, we got birds. Oh, I didn't see those coming. Uh, yep, yeah, not a fan of the birds. Alright, they're kind of obnoxious. Right, okay. So, we have... Can we maybe combine those two? We actually can't. Sucks. Um... I guess we will leave that. Leave that. Um, uh, we'll take that. Right, okay, so where was... Thing that we need. Ah, where was that? We had to blow it up, didn't we? It wasn't down here. Don't have the key. No. So, lock from the other side. It's very Metro or Metroidvania, isn't it? Because you can see all these different little areas that just perfectly sync up which is interesting not opposed to that what ah, it does kind of annoy me it's trying to remember 
where we need to go next. Oh, dogs. Hi, dogs. Hopefully, we can just, yep, yeah, get past them. Still took a hit. Something's making us. Oh. Oof. Didn't think that was a dog making that noise. Admittedly, I didn't know what that was. Oh. Come on, Poochie. Really? Oh, come on. Yeah, you got aimed down at those, which makes sense. Okay. Ammo is getting a little bit atrophied now. So, where was... Wasn't there, was it? You know what? Let's just use that. Oh! Ah, hello! Someone alive. I'm busy. What do you say? Can't you see I'm busy, Pearl? Alright, fine. Oh, who are these guys? You might want to get out of this town as soon as possible. I have a feeling it won't be around much longer. Yeah. Yeah, no shit, pal. No shit. Oh. What the hell? We've got little spiders. All right. Although we can run into the little spiders. Oh. Where was the bit that we had to blow up? Uh Is it this way? Nope. I might have to pause this and look this up. Because I cannot remember. There is, I mean, there's this bit here, a huge barricade is blocking the path, but it wasn't that bit. Right, because we're just backtracking on ourselves and wasting tons of ammo at this point. Um, right, one second, guys. Okay, after a little bit of fiddling around, I think I know where we're going. I remembered. I'm not as stupid as I look. Right, uh, I guess we can't do anything with that yet. That's unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll take some health. I guess we'll hold on to that key. Alright. Well, let's go. Yeah, so obviously uh, where we need to go was back down underground where we... Um, I think is where we first burnt out the spider's nest thing. Yeah. Down here. Alright. So, oh, there's no water here now. Oh, cool. Alright. Right, now, it was back where Mr. Mr. Man, which was up here. Um. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Is that Nemesis? No. Uh, that's bad. It's a tyrant! Whoa, dude. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is going to be rough. We've got, like, no health. Oh, shit. Here he comes. Uh. Wait. You serious? Oh. Uh. 
uh, all right, well, uh, <clears throat> nothing, <laughs> nothing to see here, folks. I guess. To be fair, that would have no. Wait, it was up. Wait a minute, am I wrong? No, we need to go this way, don't we? This is the way. Yeah, all right. I thought that guy was going to be significantly harder than that. Where does this come up? No, all oh, right. Okay, we can't go up there. Fair enough. Right, so. There's the bomb, an explosive. Uh. Ah. Okay. Thanks for playing. Echoes of the Living is being developed by Alvaro, Moonglint, and Laura uh, Karuna. We are a, a young couple that, following our passion, left everything to work full time on the development of this game. It means the world to us that you've played our demo. We hope you enjoyed and are eager to see more of Echoes of the Living in the future. See? Uh, the full version of Echoes of the Living will be available late 2023. In the meantime, you can add it to your wish list and follow us on social media for more updates. Ah, uh, well. Alright, I mean... I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. I was not expecting, to be honest, it to be that long. I didn't think we were going to be in for like a massive um, two hour plus demo, but it was okay. There's so, so, so much promise and potential here. Out of all of these indie horror games that I've played, you know, like Biohazard, Daymare, um, what other guff have we played? Is it Tormented Souls? Let me just search that on my tablet a minute. Was it Tormented Souls? Um, yeah, this is easily the strongest one that I've seen. Tormented Souls. Oh, God. Yeah, it was. It was Tormented Souls. Oh, terrible. Um, yeah, this was way better. And we, we played another one, didn't we, on the Switch, which was uh, Bio has and switch and you know I appreciate these are small little indie kind of releases um, but they're just they're just not that great you know but this has loads of potential it's got really nice ambient music the enemies look fairly decent. The backgrounds are really, really good. I mean, if they could get somebody to proofread their scripts for them and they could tighten up the animations, I think this game would probably do reasonably well. Um, at least as good. I mean, it deserves to do better than Tormented Souls. I've definitely been enjoying it more than that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to add this to my wish list. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, look at the demo. It, I, I don't know how I'm going to upload it. Uh, probably two separate parts over the next two days, I guess, if I can get it up that quickly. We shall see. That's what she said. Lel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.